Uh, hi, I'm the Accidental Brewer, and uh, my daughter, Hisela, not here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but Joe's here, so we're going to talk about the Capscomel. Now, I'm not sure if it's just yeast or what's going on with the peppers in this, but there is some, um, I don't know, the, the flesh looks a little bit weird. And so I'm just going to take it off uh, of, the, uh, of the peppers themselves. We'll see if it gave any heat to the, um, the stuff. So I'm gonna try it a little bit during this process and uh, you'll see what I'm doing. So I've got two sanitized glass jars here uh, and uh, their lids. They've all been in some sanitizer liquid so uh, it'll prevent them from having any issues. I'm just letting them drain out a little bit because I don't really want uh, to have sanitizer in my brew. Um, and I'm going to take these off. I'll re-sanitize those uh, and then they'll go back in here. So um, that'll be part of my process as I go through this. And I'm going to do them one at a time. You know, just make sure that I'm not um, introducing something. They, they do smell still very yeasty, so I know these are going to be super young. But we're going to start with the uh, jalapeno capsiscamel. Uh, and we're just going to rack that off. A little longer than a few minutes later. And so I'm going to rack this off here. We're going to start with the jalapeno capsicum And I've got a racking cane here. Um, and so this might be my secondary. It may still technically be the primary because I may just mix everything up and move it over. Um, I'm going to see kind of where it is first before I do this. And I should have thought of that before. I um, started this because, you know, I'm smart like that. So what I'm going to do, move this back down here and say, let's see where this is. Uh, I'm not really sure yet where it is. So I want to kind of figure that out, see if it's gone where it needs to, because maybe it's still in primary, but I need to just get the, uh, the stuff off of it. Or maybe it's gone, it's burned all the way through uh, its... Um, gravity. It's burned all the way through its gravity. It's burned all the way down to uh, through the sugars that are in it, through the fuel. Um, so definitely smells like sulfur. Has a very footy smell to it. Um, and it's not very clear, so it definitely needs some time to get to that point. Um, let's see how, what the gravity is right now. Oh yeah, that is at one. So it went down to 1.0, I believe. Just gonna make sure before I get this everywhere. Okay, so it's at 1.02, which is uh, generally what happens before I go to secondary. So I'm actually just going to rack this off like I would uh, to secondary. I didn't plan to do anything to back sweeten these yet. Um, and I may add some honey to it um, afterwards, uh, depending on how it tastes. Um, but I got to get a tasting glass, so cut. Really should have a little bucket right here in a chair that I can do this with. I might set that up at some point in time. Okay, so let's see how this tastes. Ooh, it smells very vegetal. It uh, it's pretty smells pretty rough. Hmm. Though there is a spicy kick to that. It's very similar to ginger mead. I like that. It's um, it's nice. I, I wasn't expecting it from the tech from the smell, um, and it it I don't think it needs any back sweetening. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll see. 
um, when I do a, another check-in with it. Uh, but I like that a lot. Um, so it definitely imparted some of the heat from the uh, pepper, but not too much. And that is what I was going for. Yeah, it's sweet and it's, it's almost like um, a jalapeno popper in a glass. Yeah, it's a kind of kind of very, very similar to a jalapeno popper in a glass, but just without any cheese in it. Um, I don't know how to describe that any better way. But the sweetness of the um, mead really comes out. So I'm, I'm a fan of the jalapeno mead. I'm interested now to see what's going to happen with the... Um, with, with the uh, Serrano pepper ones, so we'll see. But that was 1.002 that it went down to, I'm gonna say, because it's right there, right above 1.00 uh, total. Ooh, man, R rough, rough, rough talk joke. All right, so. All the way down to the bottom. I don't really care if I get too much of the um, the trube that's in there. I, I want to try to avoid it as much as possible. But if there's a little bit, that's fine because I'll rack it probably one or two more times, and it's it's really not falling out. So I haven't given it enough time. The only reason that I'm racking it over now, um, even though it's a little bit early, is because of the um, because of the the way that the peppers look, I'm just, I'm a little concerned about that. So I want to get it on out of there. So we'll be back in a moment. And, um, man, I can't believe how good that tastes. And we'll, we'll move over to the Serrano and we'll see how that works. We'll see if that's been a successful move. There is just a nice, that, mm, so nice. Good, good stuff. All right, there we go. Very nice. I'll get this out of here so I don't make a mess. And then I'm going to go sanitize it and we'll be on to the next portion where we look at the Serrano one, um, which I'm hoping we'll be doing in a moment and not in an hour as I knock things over and make a mess. Come back with the racking cane. Everything's been sanitized again. So all except for this, I need to rinse this out. So now for the Serranos, which is the one that actually got me really worried uh, today. Yesterday, you know, I check on these things generally once a day. And yesterday I did not see any weirdness and I think that's just the yeast holes clinging to the outside of it but I'm not 100% sure so I was just kind of like mm, maybe it's mold I'm not really sure I don't really want to um, you know deal with it if it is mold um, so I'm just gonna move everything on over to uh, another one but before I do that I want to check and see how it has come out and maybe it's going to be as delicious as the jalapeno capsicum, and maybe it's not. So we'll see. Not 100% sure. Um, is anybody else trying this? I wonder. Maybe, maybe you can leave a comment down below, and I'll, uh, I'll check it out and see. If it is, you know, I'll respond. But uh, let's uh, let's check this out now. Everything here. Because of the cuts, and you might hear my dog coming down here. Um, he wants to he wants to hang out with me, Cooper. Um, but because I am doing this and I'm cutting it, you may not see me going over to the sanitization bucket and pulling stuff out and everything. But I am sanitizing all of this, uh, trying my best not to introduce much, uh, if any, um, air into this. Ooh, oxygen. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't want to introduce I want to introduce the minimal amount of oxygen that I can because this is just right on the cusp of um, 
being able to have like funky flavors or something like that from oxygenation. I don't think it would turn into vinegar, but I don't want to find out. So I'm really trying my best to not put too much headspace in, things like that. Um, now, if you look at the one that I've already done, the jalapeno one, um, it has uh, much less head space than even it did originally in the original primary ferment fermenter. So uh, now I also want to remind you that both of these were um, made from the same recipe. The only difference is the peppers that are in there. Um, so this one has gone down to 1.00 and I have no idea why. Um, so I'm just going to put my second gravity that I pulled out of here is 1.00. And uh, I don't plan on back sweetening this. We're going to see if I need to after I go through this, and, you know, kind of check it out and everything. Ooh, it still ha has that very vegetal smell. Um, this one is a bit clearer though. It's not nearly as um, opaque as the other one. So maybe it's just been a little bit more thorough in what it's done. Don't have any extra stuff down there. And I'm trying really hard not to splash or introduce any other. Now there are some people that would say, you know, why are you keeping that? And because I'm making this into a small batch, I want to keep as much of my product as I can. I'm not going to throw it away. Uh, I am going to test this, see how it tastes. It smells vegetal like the other one, but not as much. So the Serrano peppers, they impart their flavor, but they don't really give off as much heat. It's more of like a sneaky kind of heat. It's just barely there. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to let it set for a little while and see what happens. But I definitely, oh, there's a little bit of heat in the back of that. Just a tiny bit though. Uh, it's not much. So again, you know, I want to move this off uh, of its primary fermentation. I'm just I'm a little concerned about the, uh, the stuff that's on the peppers themselves. Uh, and now that I've flipped over one more, it is not, it mo it's mostly green. So I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see if I'm ended up making the right call about this one. Um, but definitely the jalapeno was ready. So we're going to move these out uh, from primary to secondary. And uh, we'll go, go from there, see what happens. Um, so one of the things I love about these small batch uh, fermentations is you get to kind of do this. Sometimes they'll just kind of burn through whatever it is that they're doing like really quick and that's nice. One of the things that I've noticed about the yeast hulls too is that it gives it a really nice kind of um, nutrient balance without getting too funky. Because um, a lot of times when you overstress yeast, you'll get these like funky off flavors. I'm not getting that from this and a couple of the other things that I've done. Now, this is going to be, it goes from 1.09 to 1.00. I think that's, that's what the original gravity was. So that's going to be somewhere around 12% ABV, I think. Let me check real quick. Let me see what both of these turned out to be. Getting my trusty old Ipid, the, the Ipid tablet. And let's see if I'm looking at the, um, did I not record this? Hmm. Maybe I did not. So I'll have to check this and I will put down below what the, um, Gravity is, but it should be about 12%. It's like 11.8%, both of them. So that's not too bad. And that's in a range that I kind of like it. And it still has a little bit of sweetness because it's not completely dry. It didn't go to 0 0.09 or um, 0 0.9, no, 0 0.099. <laughs> it didn't go to that. Oh, having so much trouble thinking today. But it didn't, go, it didn't go to that. And so because of that, I'm not as concerned about there being a back sweetening portion of this. So I may um, 
just let it set see if it goes any lower in a couple weeks and if it doesn't move it off to uh to bottling that'll be fun this will be the first one that we bottle on the show um i still have the pie mint that we did uh in one of the episodes setting in uh its primary fermentation that was probably going to set for a while um, but i'll probably like in, in like a week and a half two weeks i'll move that off so yeah i'm uh i'm pretty happy with this oh, big air bubble just somehow got out I mean, do the gentle tilt of uh bottling or racking <laughs> um yeah i don't know that you're even going to hear me talking about this stuff you know why because i might just fast forward through all of it it doesn't exactly make for premium content um, but maybe maybe i'll stop at some point and you'll be able to hear me talking about it either way um, both of them had a pretty good yield out of it i'm still getting around that um one so from what i understand now i got this off of uh, city steading brews but about right here is one gallon so anything above that and you can see i've got some head space up into a little bit over the shoulder on the jalapeno one and i'm probably going to get that same head space here anything other than that is going to be about um, a little bit of extra so this is like one point two gallons um, you know so wh however that works out all right pull that out don't want that to get too oxygenated well and then i'm going to put the lid on it and kind of finish things up just want to make sure i don't make too much mess and that is why i have the paper towels here right that's what i said in the last video about the imperial stout okay so get the fermenter put together gonna go redo the airlock so basically the way I make my airlocks is I just put some sanitizer liquid up in there uh, that'll kill any bugs or anything like that that get in there which um, rarely I don't think I've ever had a gnat or anything to try to fly in there but if one was to crawl, crawl in there it wouldn't get down to my brew and um, pretty much it I just I put a little bit of sanitizer up to about that point and then I put it back together and I make sure I clean them really good with sanitizer in between shots so um, you know airlocks don't get too dirty but everything here has been sanitized through so I'm not as concerned about it but that's been our episode for the day uh, I think we're gonna have a patreon down below um, this is just kind of a starting channel my, my daughter and I you know we wanted to do something fun so if you want to help us get some new equipment or something that'd be great um, otherwise thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time